Robinhood price alerts. Welcome on into the video today. We're gonna to be covering how to turn on, turn off, and enable price alerts on the Robinhood platform. So you must do this on the app. It could be the tablet, it could be your mobile phone, but as of right now, this can only be done on the app, not the web version. So right now we're looking at SPY, a given stock. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to the bottom right that little person icon in the bottom right of your Robinhood app. Hit that, it's gonna show your profile. Then you're going to go up to the top left, hit that three line icon. Now you have the menu selected. So you see where it says investing, crypto transfers, blah, blah, blah. As we scroll down, go down to settings, click on notifications. That's where you're going to be able to do this. So now it says personal information, cash management, beneficiaries. Now go to notifications and messages, click on that and here is where you can go. So push notifications, let's dive into this. Bank activity, margin maintenance, spending alerts, all that stuff at the top, that's up to you. Here is where it comes down to stock price movements, okay? So when it comes to your current holdings, you can set alerts on your stocks and also under stocks on your watch list, okay, as well. So if I go onto my holdings, I feel like a lot of people are gonna wanna use this for their watch list and their holdings, right? That's essentially the whole point of price alerts. Go to your holdings, click on stock price movements. There's not a ton that you have the ability to do compared to other platforms out there where you can have specific price levels, indicator crossings, this and that. Robinhood only allows you to look at a 5% and a 10% threshold on individual stock price movements as well as new 52 week highs and new 52 week lows. So for me, I have it set to 5%. The stock I have is moving more than 5%. It's kind of cool to know. Let me just take a peek at it, see what's going on, news for the day. Is there a reason why? That's what I like to keep, at least for myself. That's up to you. Options price movements is a little bit more you have here. You have 20%, 50%, and 100%. And then you can also go into the total gain and loss, 20%, 50%, 75%, 100% on the loss is 20, 50, and 75. So I have it set to 20, just to give me a peek as to, you know, I'm up 20% or not. Uh, again, at the end of the day, this is going to be up to you because if you're in, let's say, super risky options, let's say, you know, one day to expirations or you know, weekly expirations, you know, you might not care about 20% move. You might be, you know, might have more of a stomach to handle a bigger risk. And so you only want to be notified if we have a 50% move on your option or something along those lines. Again, that is ultimately up to you. Crypto price movements as well, you can do the 5%, the 10%, and they even have potential for you to limit the amount of frequency, you know, per coin that you have selected here for crypto. Underneath that, there's shareholder updates, order statuses, option expirations. Those are good reminders to keep, you know, to keep your alerts on for because again, if you know, if you're in an option that is in the money, you know, you kind of want to know if it's going to expire, depending upon uh, if you have the cash to ultimately, you know, enter the position or have the uh, shares to. Uh, execute the position that needs to be executed if you end up expiring in the money. So that's that. There's shareholder updates, yada, yada, yada. Referrals, market updates. You can even go into here and get more market updates. I have that selected off. The snacks newsletter, there's a lot more here. IPOs, I don't like all those notifications. It kind of gets too, you know, jumbled up, but that's just me. There's also email notifications. You can select which ones you want to see there. Make sure you check on that. Messages, okay? Similar situation, but it's pretty much like kind of your basic stuff. It's not gonna be price alerts, but it's more kind of messages that Robinhood does have for you that you can, you know, select, you know, if you want to have them or not. Uh, and then there's the muted section. I have not muted anything personally, but you could do that if you would like. There you guys go. If you got any other questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure you are subscribed here to the TC Trading Channel, where we put together a bunch of these trading tutorial videos to ultimately help you improve your trading and investing. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.